You came across smooth Then whiskey over ice Should've seen stoner Through the disguise You're feeling no shame as I'm cursing your name In the bottom of the glass I need a chaser Let's learn Chasing Shots. It's choreographed by Madison Glover and Simon Ward. It is a 32 count, two wall intermediate rolling eight with a restart on wall two after 24 counts. I'm gonna turn around and break down the dance section by section using steps and counts. We'll then practice the front wall all the way through with steps and counts. Talk about the restart and the ending and then we're gonna go through and dance four walls of the dance so that you know how it flows so you can hopefully dance this on a dance floor near you. So let's turn around and learn chasing shots. Section one, your weight's going to start on your left foot. We're going to step our right foot to the right side and slightly into the right diagonal. You're going to cross your left over your right. You're going to route the ball of your right foot to the right side. We're going to recover onto our left and as we recover onto our left, you're going to flick your right foot back. You're now going to cross your right over your left. Step your left foot to the left side. We're going to make an eighth of a turn over our right shoulder, stepping back with our right foot to face 130 and sweep your left from front to back. You're now going to step back with your left foot. We're going to make an eighth of a turn over our right shoulder as we sweep our right foot from front to back to face three o'clock. We're going to step back onto our right foot. You're going to touch your left toe slightly forward with a bent knee, slightly leaning into this right foot. And now we're going to do a quarter shuffle, stepping forward with your left foot. Step your right next to your left, and then you're going to make a quarter turn over your left shoulder as you cross your left over your right to face 12 o'clock. So let's try that with some counts. Weight is on your left, stepping to the right. One, two, a three, four, a five, six, a seven, eight, and a. Section two, we're gonna step our right foot to the right side, and as we step to the right, we're gonna make a three-quarter turn over our left shoulder, turning on the ball of our right foot, slightly lifting this left foot up to face three o'clock, and then step forward with your left. We're now going to do a ball half pivot with a sweep. So we're gonna quickly step forward with our right foot. 
You're gonna make a half pivot over your left shoulder, putting your weight onto your left foot to face nine o'clock and sweep your right from back to front. You're now gonna cross your right over your left, step your left foot to the left side. Facing nine o'clock from here, we're going to make an eight turn over our right shoulder as we rock back with our right foot to face 930. You're gonna recover onto your left. We're gonna quickly step forward with our right foot. You're gonna step forward with your left and hit your right knee up. You're now gonna make an eight turn over your left shoulder, stepping your right foot to the right side to face nine o'clock. And when you step to this side, you kind of want to lean into this right foot so that you feel like you're kind of doing like a rock recover to go into that next section. It's going to make it feel a little bit easier. So let's try it with some counts. We would have just crossed over. You're doing your three quarter turn. So it's one, two, a three, four, a five, six, a seven, eight. Section three. We're gonna step our left foot to the left side. We're gonna cross our right over our left. Step your left foot to the left side and point your right toe into the right diagonal. We're now gonna step our right foot to the right side. You're gonna cross your left over your right. Step your right foot to the right side and point your left toe into the left diagonal. Right now we want our hips pointed to the 730 diagonal. We're going to do sways with knee bends. So we're going to put our weight onto our left foot and as we do that, we're gonna bend our knees and push our left hip forward and you can kind of come up when you do that push. We're now going to bend our knees and we're going to push our right hip back. We're now going to step our left foot into the 730 diagonal and you're going to hit your right knee up. We're now going to do a full turn over our left shoulder. You're going to start by making a half turn, stepping back with your right foot to face 130 and then you're going to make a half turn over your left shoulder, stepping forward with your left foot to face 730. So let's try that with some counts. We would have just done our hitch and step to the side. We're gonna step to the left. One and a two, three and a four, five, six, seven, eight, a. Uh. Section four in our final section of the dance. We're going to make an eighth of a turn over our left shoulder, stepping our right foot to the right side. Now, when you step to the right, you still wanna keep your hips slightly angled to the right. So right now, six o'clock is our wall, but you want your hips slightly angled. We're gonna cross our left over our right. We're gonna step our right foot to the right side and step your left next to your right, taking weight onto your left foot, angling your hips to the left. We're now going to weave. So we're gonna cross our right over our left, step your left foot to the left side, cross your right behind your left. Step your left foot to the left side, cross your right over your left. Step your left foot to the left side. We're now gonna cross our right behind our left and as we cross behind, we're going to do a figure four sweeping hitch with our left knee. So we're gonna step back with our right foot. You're gonna bring your left knee up, keeping your foot close to your right leg and you're gonna have your knee come around from front to back. We're now gonna weave crossing our left behind our right. Step your right foot to the right side and cross your left over your right. Now, when we do that first long weave, that one is going to be slower than that final weave after our figure four hitch. You want this one to feel a little bit quicker. It will hit the music when we are dancing it. So let's try it with some counts. We would have just stepped forward with our left foot for a, uh, you're gonna make that eight turn over your left shoulder. It's one, two, a uh, three, four, a uh, five, a uh, six, a uh, seven, eight and a. Uh. So that last weave part is going to feel much quicker than the first part of that section. And that is the whole dance. So now let's face the front. We're going to do it one time through with steps, one time through with counts. Weight is on your left. We're going to step right foot into the right side, slight diagonal, stepping right, cross, ball rock, recover, flick, cross, side, eight, back, sweep, back, eight, sweep, back, touch. Quarter shuffle cross, now your three quarter turn, step, half ball sweep, cross side, eighth rock back, recover, step, step, hitch, eighth side, side, cross side, point, side, cross side, point, hip, sway, sway, hitch, half, half, now side, cross side together, cross side behind, side cross, side behind, figure four, hitch, behind side cross. 
Let's try it with some counts. Weight is on your left, stepping to the right. One, two, a three, four, a five, six, a seven, eight, and a one, two, a three, four, a five, six, a seven, eight, one, and a two, three, and a four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, a three, four, a five, a six, a seven, eight, and a. And that is the whole dance. So now let's talk about the restart. The restart's gonna happen right away on wall two. It will be the first time that we're doing the back wall. You're going to dance 24 counts of the dance, which is up to your half, half into the diagonal. So let's dance up to that part, and then we'll talk about how to transition into the next wall. Weight is on your left. We're stepping our right foot to the side and slightly into the diagonal. So it's side, cross, ball flick, cross, side, eight, back, sweep, back, eight, sweep, back, touch. Now your quarter, shuffle, cross, three, quarter, step, ball, half, sweep, cross, side, eighth, rock, back, recover, step, step, hitch, eighth, side, side, cross, side, point, side, cross, side, point, diagonal, sway, sway, hitch, half, half. Right here, we are going to restart the dance. I want you to think that you are kind of going into what we would normally do for the next section anyways. So you'd be stepping that right foot to the right side and slightly into the diagonal, allowing your hips to kind of open back up towards the 12 o'clock wall, but not completely. Still open to the right, but angling your body more towards 12. And then you would continue on from there, dancing the new wall, wall three. Now, wall six is our final wall of the dance. It is a six o'clock facing wall. We're going to dance the first four of counts, and then we're gonna add on our ending. So let's dance those four of counts, and we'll talk about how to end the dance. Weight is on your left, stepping to the right, so it's side, cross, ball rock recover, flick, cross, side. So right here is four of. All we're going to do is make an eighth of a turn over our right shoulder, stepping back with our right foot like we would, but don't sweep. So we're stepping back with our right, and as you step back with your right, you're gonna point your right finger towards 12 o'clock, but you're gonna have it come down. So it's gonna come up and then slowly down towards 12 o'clock. And you're going to look over your right shoulder towards 12 o'clock because it ends with you. So you're gonna slowly do that point towards the end of the song. So now let's go around. We're gonna dance four walls of the dance so that you know how that restart transitions into the next wall. On the front wall, I'm going to do steps. Back wall, I'm going to do counts. Weight is on your left. We're starting with our step to the right. So it's side, cross, ball, rock, recover, flick, cross, side, eight, back, sweep, back, eight, sweep, back, touch, forward, together, quarter, cross, three, quarter, turn, step, ball, half, pivot, sweep, cross, side, eight, rock, back, recover, step, step, hitch, eight, side, side, cross, side, point, Side, cross, side, point, sway, sway, step, hitch, half, half, eighth, cross, side, together, now your weave, cross, side, behind, side, cross, side, back, figure four, hitch, behind, side, cross, step, side, one, two, a three, four, a five, six, a seven, eight, and a one, two, a three, four, a five, six, a seven, eight, one and a two, three and a four, five, six, seven, eight, a restart step, side, cross, ball, rock, recover, flick, cross, side, eight, back, sweep, eight, back, sweep, back, touch, forward, together, quarter, cross, three, quarter, turn, step, ball, half, pivot, sweep, cross, side, eighth, rock, back, Recover, forward, forward, hitch, eighth side, side, cross, side, point, side, cross, side, point, it's sway, sway, step, hitch, half, half, eighth side, cross, side, together, now your weave, cross, side, behind, side, cross, side, back, figure four, hitch, behind, side, cross, step, side, one, two, a three, 
four, a five, six, a seven, eight, and a one, two, a three, four, a five, six, a seven, eight, one, and a two, three, and a four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, a three, four, a five, a six, a seven, eight, and a, and then you would dance until the end where you do your ending. Now that you've learned it with the tutorial, you can use the timestamp in the video description below to skip to the rear demo so you can practice as much as you would like so you can hopefully go out and dance this on a dance floor near you. I hope this helped you learn chasing shots. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, guys. You came across smooth.